Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Got this in the mail a couple of days ago. Um, World War I trench lighter. Don't know if anyone anyone seen these before. Um, I've made videos about them before, and um, these are a very cool item. They're called a rope lighter, trench lighter, um, shepherd's lighter and they're a flameless lighter and they're, they're, they're an old concept they're made on um based on a match slow match and i really really like them i haven't been able to get them for a while then they tend to they tend to go in and out of popularity i think um usually they're made in china this one is too um I haven't been able to get them for a while so yeah i'm struggling to get them and they're they're getting quite expensive too this one was about twelve dollars fifteen dollars twelve twelve or thirteen dollars shipped from um yeah from china so it took a while to get here and um yeah so but that's basically you you you, you basically got to pay that now and get them from China. I do know that there are, there is another Aussie supplier, but he's been out of stock for a long time. Basically what they are is a spark wheel and a cotton rope that goes up here and you just use this to draw the rope out. I actually pulled the rope out of this and treated it with potassium nitrate to make it a proper slow match. So um, you don't have to do that. Um, I've got the ability to do that because I've got potassium nitrate. So I treated this with potassium nitrate, one teaspoon in, uh, one tablespoon of potassium nitrate in um, one cup of warm water and soaked it overnight and then dried it out. Um, yeah, really good. The, key with these is the fact that once you get the the rope and you have to then char the end you the rope comes uncharred but once you get it you char the end and then all you do is throw the spark onto it get it up there close to the spar usually yeah, it takes a spark pretty easily and it's going to prove me a liar now there we go and then once that that's actually going now because that should be going all right now. And then it just keeps charring or chugging along like that. And I thought because you put potassium nitrate in and you're basically turning it into a slow match. And because it's windproof basically now, because it'll never go out because of there's no flame or anything and you just put your cigarette or whatever that's the idea of them um put your cigarette on there but these are, are really good because you can basically use that as a slow match now so just put it into your tinder bundle and blow it into flame you can also set these once the spark wheels go out um turn off or stop working flint and steel will spark that up really well too um that i've shown that before on video they just take the normal um flints from zippo lighters or whatever now to put it out you just withdraw it back in turn close the lid and that extinguishes it out really really good um i, I love them i it's just wish i could get more of them um they normally See, that's out now. 
They normally take a spark pretty easy. Yeah, see that one took a spark there. No dramas. Once, once you get it going again, you know, like... That embered up really easy again. Just to put it out, close it up, and just make sure it puts itself out. Always make sure it's out, and then that's it. It's all up. But, yeah, trench lighter or um, rope lighters or... Um, World War I rope lighter is what they are usually called. Yeah, fantastic idea. I really, really like them. I will link it in the description bar. Um, but as I said, they are very hard to, seem to be quite hard to get a hold of. Um, I do love them. I, but, and I, I think if you've got the, the ability to soak these in potassium nitrate, I would because while the cotton, the 100% cotton wicks are okay, why not put potassium nitrate on it? It only helps them, only helps them out better. And that I think I am going to once this rope, the cotton, it's eight mil cotton. I'm going to. I've got a um, supply of high quality German. Um, eight mil, hundred percent cotton. Um, lamp wicks, round eight mil lamp wicks, which I will definitely be replacing that with, and I think it'll be work even better than that lamp wick there. And I'll so obviously soak it in. I might even put it a, a lot better, like a, a hotter solution of potassium nitrate just to give it a little bit more chance of taking a spark better but anyway yeah thought i would show that um yeah very very cool um little flameless lighter that is windproof and um yeah um obviously once the as i said once the wick uh, the flints go you can light it with a flint and steel anyway thanks for watching